Winter Wonderland in the Adirondacks near Lake Placid, New York. Our location is called Little Alps, the picturesque chalet of Gus Lucy, the world famous coach and developer of Champions on Ice. A group of his youthful blade champions are headed for the frozen pond. These boys and girls usually practice and perform indoors at the Olympic Arena at Lake Placid Village. But today they're out for frolic and figures. The temperature is low, but their spirits are high. Close by the edge of the pond are two warm-up cabins. As they get ready to go, it's off with the heavy duds and on with the blades. Incidentally, a pair of these figure skates and boots cost the performer, or papa, about $75. Yes, skating has come a long way in the past 25 years. They take to the frozen pond like ducks to water. So before we present individually our youthful specialists, we'll let them warm up in this zero temperature and get the stiffness out of their limber legs and bodies. and on with the show. Bess Sundine of Chicago and Dave Jenkins of Akron are champions in their class. You know skaters are old at 18, so you see no age is too young to start. Coming up is a split jump, and now a very fetching sit spin. Just a few years more and Bess will be competing for national honors. The Grahams, a brother and sister pair from Tulsa, Oklahoma. They hold the Midwestern Senior Pair Championship and are climbing the ladder nationally in a hurry. Now let's watch a pair of Axel Paulson jumps, named after a famous European skater who originated the jump. Sue Morrow of the Toronto Skating Club is tops in Canada now that Barbara Ann Scott has left the amateur field. In skating parlance, coming up is a jump camel. Now she goes into a sit spin. and a speedy, dizzy, regular spin. Yvonne Sherman represents the New York Skating Club and was a member of the Olympic team and just won second place in the 1949 World's Figure Skating Championships in Paris and is also the North American champion. A graceful stag jump. A trio of difficult Axel Paulson jumps. In all free skating exhibitions, the routines and times are set and performed to synchronize music. Movements are changed or improvised just as they are in the ballet. From Boston comes Petite Jo Barnum, the Eastern Junior and National Novice Champion. She comes honestly by that famous name of Barnum, which is exemplified in her showmanship ability. beautiful split jumps. Just about perfect.
Next, a double sal cow jump. This also gets its name from a famous skater. And the jump camel. And now, Miss Barnum, if you'll come to a stop, we'll present our top figure skating eights. It's Dick Button, the champion, the first American to ever bring Olympic and world figure skating crowns to the USA. Here, the youthful New Jersey lad and Harvard undergraduate is with his famous coach, Gustav Lucy. Yes, Dick has won them all. U.S., Canadian, European, Olympic, and world championship titles. Button's brilliance on the ice is no accident. His coach observed and learned many of the secrets of the great ballet wizard, Nijinsky. Applying these ballet routines to skating required eight years of grueling practice and patience. A five-minute free skating routine like this requires better timing than a tennis champ, more speed than a sprinter, and the stamina of a football player. It's a terrific, strenuous performance. By mastering high-speed turning, Dick is able to make a double out of every jump, like this Axel Paulson. Besides speed, he has acquired unusual body lifting power. Let's look over the double flip jump. After a double jump like that, the average skater runs out of momentum, but not button. He does a double set of double loops and is the only skater able to perform this feat. Getting up speed, he performs a flying sit spin, an original creation of Coach Lucy. Think it over, Dick. Don't let those Olympic and world crowns wear you down. Button's spin is contagious. With only a few seconds left before lunch, everyone gets into the whirling windup. The biggest difference between indoor and outdoor skating is that outdoor appetite. It's terrific. So gather round, boys and girls. What you saw in a few minutes is not the result of hours, days, or weeks of practicing. These youngsters have spent months, yes, years of practice to reach the perfection that they've achieved. Let's have hot dogs and hot drinks. Lucy knows the secret. When you warm their tummies, you warm their hearts. We'll be hearing more about all these youthful champs, especially you, Dick Button, so thanks one and all.